Hey, I'm Abby Dodge in the Red Bridge neighborhood. This section of homes near 115th Street is home to lot after lot of vacant homes. They're all owned by the same company and they're trying to buy up this land to build a housing complex. I spoke to one homeowner right next door who says she isn't moving no matter what goes up. South Kansas City is full of pockets of what feels like a small town. That's what Pauline Dilly loves about her home of 54 years. How important is this home to you? Very important. It's my life. Pauline is 83. She raised five kids in this home. I intend to live here till I die. I felt that way for a long time. I have memories here. I watched my kids grow up in the backyard, play baseball, everything. She says a developer has been knocking on her door incessantly, wanting to buy her home. You're taking a piece of my life. You're shortening my life expectancy because I will become, sorry, mentally and emotionally distraught if I have to leave here. Kansas City's property records show the developer has been successful in buying up a large chunk of land around Pauline's home, but she's still not interested. If we don't want to sell, I think they should just not keep badgering us to sell. The developer says in the next year they plan to break ground on a housing complex full of apartments and townhomes twice the size of their original plans when they started buying up the land. People might say that this is just a part of change. Why are you so adamant to not be a part of that change right now? Well, I don't think it's particularly necessary right now. Um, there's plenty of empty apartments around here the millions they can make by taking all of this out, but where does it stop? I spoke to the development company over the phone this afternoon. They say that they are in the process of acquiring a few more pieces of land, but don't plan on purchasing any more homes before construction begins. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.